Hello everyone, I'm Simay Dolaner, studying molecular biology and genetics at Bahçeşehir University in Turkey. I'm working as an undergraduate research assistant in a cancer biology laboratory focusing on non-small cell lung carcinoma in pancreatic cancer in wet lab and chronic lymphocytic leukemia in dry lab. We are mainly studying on cell proliferation and epithelial to mesenchymal transition to identify specific genes and pathways which triggers the cancer progression. During my undergraduate studies, I was having trouble with computational biology in the means of analysis and interpretation of the big data. Therefore, I had to improve my knowledge and experience in this field because I was aware of the importance of high throughput data analysis and the results obtained. So in order to gain experience and knowledge, I participated to Pine Biotech Fellowship Program and enrolled as an intern for three months. But I should include that more, my knowledge on bioinformatics was quite limited and I had some concerns about whether I would succeed. During this time, I took several online courses about omics technologies and machine learning which was a great opportunity to remember my previous knowledge and build my background on bioinformatics. Moreover, there were hands-on assignments to practice what we learned and also several quizzes for each course to evaluate ourselves and see our missing points. So I can indicate that courses were very helpful for me because it was starting with the basic information and continuing by increasing the complexity that enabled me to integrate multiple perspectives and also the fields. Besides, I had the opportunity to participate in several webinars, and these were very beneficial because it was showing some glimpses from diverse research topics and increasing my curiosity for the upcoming details. Having weekly uh, meetings with our mentors and other participants were really critical and important for me because we were sharing our progress, asking our questions, and discussing them together. It was such a positive environment that when I needed to ask anything in time, I could be able to reach and get guidance from my advisors immediately. Furthermore, there were two huge opportunities that I can benefit from. The first one is the TBI Info Server, which is the platform that we are using for processing and analyzing the data. And it's very simple and enriched with lots of information on each step. The second one is the Codomics Logic Platform, which explains and shows the coding with very basic stuff. Even though coding was quite complex for me, this platform helped me a lot in this process. So I believe the best side of this program was to conduct an individual project. It was a great chance to integrate the theoretical and the practical part. Nearly within the two months, I completed a project titled identification of link RNAs as therapeutic targets in chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And my research has just been published on Columbia Undergraduate Science Journal. So my purpose was to identify possible therapeutic targets to be able to trigger the spontaneous regression mechanism in different cancer types. For this, I used an RNA-seq data set from a bioproject that can be found in NCBI. By using the TBI Info server, I conducted two main analyses. First of all, I explored my data, and then I did differential gene expression analysis between spontaneous regression and the progressive tumor state to identify uh, significantly expressed genes. Consequently, it revealed that significant protein coding genes were correlated with biogenesis and processing of RNA molecules. Therefore, I investigated the non-coding genes and found highly expressed 33 link RNAs. Furthermore, I identified three novel link RNAs that can be important in regression mechanism and can be used as therapeutic targets. But of course, these findings can be confirmed by additional studies. So if you would like to see the outcomes of this research in a more detailed manner, I will definitely advise you to check our uh, recent paper. Uh, it was really significant experience for me to be part of this scientific environment, and I'm really happy to see the upcoming events. So thank you so much for this amazing uh, fellowship program.